Hey guys, what's good? It's your girl Tila with the T. Today I want to talk about part two on why I denounced the Order of Eastern Star. I received many calls, many emails, many text messages uh, talking about, Tila, what is wrong with you? Why would you put this video out? Have you lost your mind? And uh, no, I haven't. I have the mind of Christ. <laughs> but anywho, yes, they were like, Tila, we don't see no witchcraft in this organization. We're not stirring no pots. We're not casting spells upon anybody. Tell me, where is the witchcraft? I'm here to tell you where. Do, 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 do. But anywho, uh, <laughs> I thank you guys for reaching out because this has motivated me to do a part two. But anywho. So many of you all, or probably some of you, have heard of Christian witchcraft, right? So what Christian witchcraft is, it takes the word of God and it changes it, it manipulates it, it controls people, it causes them to see things that are not really there. Yeah. So uh, let's get down to business. Many of you know that the, the star, a star, is a symbol for OES. You know, me growing up Jewish, I thought that, oh, okay, it has the star of David, but it's really not, but it kind of looked like it. So that means that it's okay. We talk about Jesus, you know, oh, not Jesus, the Supreme Being, and uh, Jesus was nowhere in the mix. So in Matthew 2 and 2, we, we quote, for we have seen his star in the east and we have come to worship him. But what is this star? What does this star really entail? So while I was in this organization, I noticed that our star was similar to a satanic star, the pentagram or um, what do you call it? The pentagram? Yeah, the pentagram. And it had like Jewish symbols inside of it with a horn and a, like a, a demonic source like stuck right in the middle. So I'm thinking to myself, why is this star so similar to that star? It don't make no sense. So um, <clears throat> as I do my research, as I was looking at, you know, certain things that look kind of strange, but I was like, mm, it's OK. We say that, you know. We believe in the supreme being. We believe in God. But me not having a deep relationship with the father at that time, I was blinded. Yeah, I was blinded literally going through my initiation. They blinded fold me. But I was also blinded spiritually where I could not see what was truly going on. So since you guys asked so many questions on why I say that, you know, this organization is witchcraft or it's demonic, here is the reason why. So um, many of you may or may not know what uh, Wicca, Wicca is, which originated, which the word witchcraft originated from, right? The Wicca. If you don't know what it is, go ahead and Google it. You'll see it. And then just compare it to the Order of Eastern Star and you'll see. But anywho, um, also another thing that stood out to me was that we're considered to be biblical based, right? So we take stories from the Bible and we use it for our own good. Like, for example, Ada. Although she's not in the Bible, her name is not mentioned. We decided to take it upon ourselves. Well, Rob Morris, the one who wrote the ritual, decided to take it upon himself and to give a name to this individual, Ada, Jephthah's daughter. But in Deuteronomy 4, 2, it states, I read, end quote, do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord, your God, that I have given you. So we just go add that name in there. Although it's not in there, we just go add it to our own good. We're going against the word of God. It clearly states, do not add or subtract. We're adding a name into the organization so it can fit us. If we're biblical based, why are we adding that name? Also, um, we stated another star point. Esther was Mordecai's niece wrong that was 
she was his adopted cousin. Again, changing the word of God. If you want to say, oh, the author made a mistake. He, you know, he wasn't, what he quoted was wrong right there. If that was the case, then why are we following or a part of someone that is making error of the word of God? That's not the right thing to do. Anywho, um, also, just because something says that it's a Christian organization, right, doesn't mean, or have Christian principles, doesn't mean that it's Christian-based, meaning it's not Holy Spirit-led, or Jesus is nowhere to be found. Because the uh, only thing that we really talked about was the Supreme Being. Yeah, you might have your belief. Yeah, you might be Buddhism, Hinduism, whatever, uh, Muslim, as long as you believe in the supreme being, then you good. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In order for us to get to God, we have to go through Jesus. Now, if we have to go through Jesus, why aren't we mentioning his name? Y'all go ahead and think about that and give me the answer once y'all, once y'all got it. Okay. Also, um, oh yes, being known as the mother of all, right? Some of the things that we practiced or they practice, I ain't, I ain't a part of it no more to God be the glory. Some of the things that they practiced, um, went down to Greek organizations such as Delta Sigma Theta, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Zeta Phi Beta, all of them, the divine nine, because our founders of OES or the founders of these organizations were also Greek. So you put two and two together. Many people who are a part of this organ or divine nine says, oh, you know, we don't do that. We don't. Y'all build altars. Y'all make oaths. Y'all wear white on some occasions. Y'all uh, initiate. You guys bow before false gods. So therefore you do the same thing that the order of Eastern star do. Be careful, be mindful, get out of it. Anywho, um, <laughs> so many of you guys are like mad at me. I don't care. They was mad at Jesus for speaking the truth and saying that he's the son of man. It's okay. You know, being a Christian, a true Christian, one that's all about their father business, my job is to expose those things that are not like the father. In Ephesians 5.11, it says, Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Oh, I'm exposing this devil. I mean, I built an altar to a false god. I dedicated, I took an oath to this false God. So now guess what I'm doing? I'm tearing it down. I'm taking back what I gave to the enemy. Amen. Next, I wanna talk about pastors that are a part of the Masonic body or the divine nine. If you do not know if your pastor is a part of this organization or where they stand, regarding this organization, you can do two things. You can ask them, just be like, hey, pastor, how do you feel about this organization? Because that's what I did joining my current church. I made sure I asked them, what are your stance on um, the divine nine or the Masonic body? If they are in agreement with this organization, run. I'll say it again. If they are in agreement with this organization, run. Why? because they're worshiping a false God. They cannot, you cannot serve two masters. Either you love one or you love the other. How are they serving two masters? I am so glad you ask. As I stated in my previous video, when you take um, an oath or when you get initi initiated, you're bowing to a false God, a false God. Even when you're a part of this organization, um, a Greek organization, you're bowing to, um, I know for uh, a particular sorority, we bow to or we take an oath to Minerva. 
Yeah. So if you're bowing to Athena, Hermes, Apollo, Zeus, Atlas, or whoever and whatever, that means you are taking on a false god. You're bowing to a false god and you have built an altar. Therefore, you're letting demonic spirits to enter into your life and into your spirit as well. Another one is that um, if the Holy Spirit has not convicted you or saying that this organization is of God, it's okay. That's why I'm here to help you out, right? So I believe that, you know, when you are truly sold out for the Lord, right? The Holy Spirit will teach you and show you some things that is not of the Father. For example, we believe, well, I won't say we believe, but back in the day before I was, you know, truly sold out for the Father, I used to lie, I used to cheat, I used to bust it wide, spread it high, I used to um, gossip with other people. At that time, I thought it was okay. But it wasn't until the Holy Spirit came into me and told me, nah, Tila, you need to get your life all the way together. That is not of me. This is not of the Father. So the more of a relationship you have with the Father, the more he will reveal some things to you. Trust me. Once you get a relationship with the Father, then he'll start to show you, hey, no, don't do this. Do that. Hey, don't go here. Go there. So I just pray that you guys get a deeper relationship with the Father. Okay, before I end this video, I want to refer you guys to a YouTuber by the name of Pastor Frederick Payne. His video is very, very informative. It goes more into detail about these organizations and their type of deities or false gods that they worship and go into a little more in details about that. But before I end this video, I want to pray over you guys and... Yeah. So Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come to you, Lord God, humble as we know how, Father God, asking you for forgiveness, Father God. Forgive us for anything that is not like thee, Heavenly Father, Lord God. I ask you, Lord God, to forgive us for not putting you first. Father God, I ask you to break down any strongholds, any false um, idols that we have put before you, Lord God, any demonic um, spirits or anything, any altars that we have built and not knowing that it was against your word and that it was against your way. Father God, I ask you to reveal to those that are blinded, Lord God, that cannot see or understand what it is, Lord God, that you need for them to understand regarding these organizations. Father God, I ask you to reveal yourself to them. Lord God, reveal your son, Jesus Christ. Lord God, let them know that there is no one like you and that you are a forgiving and a loving God. Lord God, I thank you for who you are. Heavenly Father, we honor you. We love you. It is in your son name, Jesus Christ, the true and living God. We do pray. Amen. All right, guys. I love you so much. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff on all social medias. I have an Instagram, Facebook, um, not Snapchat, I don't do Snapchat, a TikTok, all that. So guys, make sure you guys subscribe. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Peace.